Hello everyone, uh, Mike Henderson here again with part two of No Tears Typesetting using OpenOffice Writer. Now, we have uh, gone through and set up our templates, our template, and we want to retrieve it. So here is new file. We're going to open a new file. Just click on this thing. And it's got a drop down menu. We go down to templates and documents and click on that and it should display this little thing which has our uh, novel for video template. I'll double click on it and up it pops. So you see it has a margin here and a different margin and so this is uh, typesetting front matter minion typesetting front matter page both the, the um, paragraph and the front matter. Now, I'll just talk briefly about front matter. I'm not going to fill it all in, but um, you see I have an indentation here. I don't want it really at this point. For some of the things you put in, you may want indentation, such as acknowledgments or dedication or uh, copyright. I don't want that here. I'm going to put in the title of the book, this is what I call the title page. So when you upload this thing to create space, this will be on the right. The first thing that happens is uh, create space adds a blank page in front of it to the left of it because that is the inside of the back cover and you can't print on that. So you, when you open a book, you have the the, uh, the paperback or trade paperback. You have the back. You have the back side of the front cover, blank. Uh, and then the first page, which is what this is. Uh, the, the name of my story is Blood Wilderness, at least for now. And I'm going to want to um, center it. So I'll go over here and I'll put it in the center. One reason I get rid of the, if I undo that, let me show you something. Yeah, I want it to be really in the center. If I have this little extra space here, it it won't look right. So in any case, I center it. So it's centered. It, it looks weird maybe because from here to here it's not centered, but from here to here it is. Um, I don't want this little tiny print, so I want it to be... You know, and I can make it maybe a different font. So I don't know. Let's go through here and say uh, this looks like a good font. I don't know. I'm just making this up as I go. Actually, it looks like crap. So we'll say uh, this one here is a nice one. Blood Wilderness. I want it to be about a uh, 26 size. I want it big, and I want it down lower, uh, somewhere around it here. Now, now, what happened to it? Well, let's highlight it. And what's happened? This is the line height. So I have it at a line height. That's not going to work. So I'll just right click on it, uh, do format, I mean, uh, uh, character, and the font, position. Sorry, uh, nope, I want. Sorry about that, I want uh, paragraph. Line spacing, this is where the, the problem is, so I'll do a four, I don't know what it will take, and there it is, blood wilderness. And I'll, okay, so, and actually I'm not digging that font, so we'll just make it uh, minion. Okay. In any event, um, then you notice here there's th this is the typesetting front matter paragraph, but it's also typesetting front matter page style. So there's no footer and there is no header. Now I want something, I want another, uh, se several pages after this just like it. So I'll just do control enter and that gives me as many pages as I want. Uh, usually I have eight pages, which includes, as I said, the title page, um, 
there's at least one blank page it's kind of part of the way that the convention is the copyright page and so forth so let's get through that now I'm over here and I'm not going to put that in you can go see what the, uh, you know look at a book and see what the copyright gibberish they put in and what uh, and how they organize things would be also by if you have other books and you dedicate it to your mother and, and uh, acknowledge uh, your uh, your uh, proofreader or whatever you're going to do so after this I'm going to insert a manual break well, I'm going to show you something first if I don't do that and I do control enter I've done control enter and I say well I'm just going to try to change the font to this I'm going to change this I go format um, styles and formatting uh, I go down to um, let's just get my uh, custom styles typesetting body It didn't do anything. So I don't want to do it that way. So what I need to do is just go to insert, manual break, page break, the style is going to be typesetting body. Now inserted the page and it put the footer so this is how we essentially suppress headers and footers one thing that will give you fits is trying to figure out how to do this without having the same footer on every page and, it, and this uh, or header or page number and this is how you do it now I'm going to right click I have my manuscript I have copied the whole manuscript into you know, to the clipboard and I'm going to paste it here all right now you see a couple things happen one is I type in I write my manuscript in courier for whatever reason and so that hasn't changed. The line spacing is double as a standard manuscript um, convention and it's not justified, which is also manuscript convention. So I just have a manuscript and it goes down. The next, come on. All right. Then you see a straight page here and then what's happened is now it goes back to this. That's because there's a page break here. And we're going to deal with that in a minute. So what I'm, oops, so what I'm going to do, I don't want to go all the way to the top. I'm going to forget about all that. So I can't select the whole document. I'm going to put the cursor here. I'm going to slide all the way to the bottom. You do shift and then click and it selects everything between where the cursor was and where you are here. And then I'm going to go to format uh, whoops, sorry. I'm going to do that. I'm going to go to Format, Styles and Formatting. The Paragraph, I want to be Typesetting Body. So it should go a long way towards putting it the way I want it to look. And it, it cranks on it for a minute or so, so don't worry about that. I have a slow computer too. Then with we'll type on page style, and I also want it to be the typesetting page body. And I misspelled it, I know. What do you want me to do? So you can see that at least part of it, not all of it, because there's a problem here, and we're going to talk about that in a minute but it has essentially taken the whole thing most of it and put it in the right font with the indentation and I want this to do whatever it will do there so I'm going to exit that I'm going to get rid of the highlight 
So we slide back up and we see that um, we get back up here and it has taken, it has uh, right justified it. And has the header, has the footer rather. And then we have this. Well, here's how you get rid of this. This is because there's a page break. You're going to do a backspace. You're going to basically backspace and delete the page break. Okay. Now the cursor, it's hard to see, but the cursor is right here. And I'm going to do uh, Control Enter, which enters a, a uh, hard page return. And uh, so here's that, and then it goes to here, and this is where the page break was. Yeah, so there's a space here. We'll talk about that in a minute. In any event, you've got to go through the whole thing and get rid of the page break the same way. And the page break is probably where you have you want a chapter, now, which some of these right here says chapter. So in yours, maybe it says chapter, and it's going to make your life easy. It doesn't matter. You've got to get rid of the page break. So you're going to go through the whole thing and do that. Now the next thing you're going to do is these have chapters. Um, and you will find chapters divided up as many ways as there are books, really. The way I like to do it is I'll put some space down here. I like the chapter to begin down the page somewhere. So what is this? This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. So maybe I just want it at eight. All right, so I'll put chapter one. And again, I may want to just, you know, there are no rules about it. You do what you want. You can get creative, although don't get too goofy. But um, in this case, whoops, I'll, I'll leave it at minion. I'll put it at like a 16. Maybe that's good. I want it centered. That's just the way I would like it. The convention is that the first paragraph does not is not indented, by the way. So when you're typesetting and you go to a chapter or a section, which I'll talk about in a minute, uh, just do a backspace and get rid of this indentation. That's all you've got to do. This I happen to want in italics, and that is again not a not a rule, not a convention. It's just uh, something I like to I like to see it that way. I may or may not leave this hyphen in. I don't know. I'll worry about it later. But that's it. So this goes down to uh, the next page, the next chapter and you see that it's blank here which is good because that's the end of a chapter here we start another one so I'm going to say chapter 2 and I think I've got like three spaces and then this is down by like eight one, two three four five six seven one more and the key is to be consistent I want that centered I think I had it at 16 and there you go 40 years later I want that over I wanted italics I want a space and then I want this moved over as well and this is how I you can put this in the center there's again there's no rule there's not I don't even think there's a convention it's just whatever you think looks good you know you can put two spaces you can do as you, you want here so we're going to uh, talk